the more they drink, the better we sound. That's what Chris used to say. Keep sucking them down because the more you guys drink, the better we sound. <laughs> That's my cousin Chris Bob. He was the, uh, his dad owned the Warside. Ah, uh, no kidding. Yeah, and Chris was like the general manager. Nice. Yeah. I baptized his daughter. Uh, she's one of my godchildren, Chris's daughter. What's her name? Erin. Nice. Yeah. It's all family, isn't it? Pretty much. And if and if it's not, you can be. You just... yeah, well, if, you know, like the old saying, you don't have to be Italian to be family. You know, that's where we are. If you're you're my friend, I was what taught this. Joe was a little kid. Friends, family come first. That's the first thing you're taught. You take care of your family. You take care of your friends. Hmm. And that's the way it is. And that's the Italian way. That's some of the things you're taught as a kid. Sure, and, it, and actually I could feel your energy and demeanor yeah. and, and your facial expression change yeah. when you said that, just yeah. then, like you got a little dark yeah. on me. <laughs> yeah, the expression, you know, that's the way, uh, what's very important to Italian people and family is respect. You, you're taught as a young kid, you better have respect for your elders, have respect for your fellow man, but if they, if they give you a bad time, bury them. <laughs> There's no, you know, but I'm not talking about family friends, I'm talking no, about no, I, in general. No, I understand. <laughs> no, I, 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 obviously, we think the same and I yeah. was raised the same. I remember growing up, the older boys took care of the younger boys. You watched over them. Yeah. Say like, if you were younger, you'd say as the kids, Say I'm 10, 12, you're 7, 8. And then as you go up the years, same thing. When you watch over them, make sure nobody messes with them. Yeah. No, I agree. My sons are like 15 and 11 now, yeah. and they, you know, brothers fight. Oh, yeah. And they fight, and they tell you, hey, Dad, my, you know, he's a terrible person. I mean, I'm not going to say how they actually say it, but well, of course. I say, but look, regardless of that, that's your brother. Mm -hmm. That's that relationship's going to be important for the rest of your life, and right. you're going to learn to rely on them, yeah. especially when you're older. And I said, you need even if you don't like each other mm -hmm. at times, you look out for each other. Exactly. Period. I'll give you a good example. My son Frank and my daughter Christina. But Christina, my daughter's the oldest in our family. There's Christina, Frank, and then Anthony. Well, Frank and Christina would fight constantly. And, but if somebody said anything to her, Frank would tell him, who do you think you're talking to? That's my sister, you better shut your mouth. Man. If they would fight, I'd kill, you know? I wish I had, <laughs> my brothers would send people to fight me. Like really? my brother will beat you up. You know, because I was a full contact fighter back then. And yeah. Oh, my brother, they would talk all this trash yeah. and then send this angry person to find me, you know? <laughs> like, yeah. Hey. But that's the way it is, you know? That's my sister. I could talk to her the way I want to talk to her, but you better not open your mouth. Exactly. You yeah. know? That's, that's family. Yeah, it's like I could punch my brother in the mouth, but yeah, you but can't. Not <laughs> exactly. <laughs> all right, well, thank you very much for your time this week. It was a pleasure right, to see you again. Always a pleasure to see you, my God. And uh, next week we're gonna. I'm gonna need some stories from uh, from this last decade, the last ten years. We okay. we don't really have anything. Yeah. Well, okay. Next so, week we'll do a little bit more on. Uh, yeah. The last years I've been working in Dominicos. Exactly. Yeah. We yeah. Uh, let's talk about that. We'll talk a some bit. of the people that have walked in and. Uh, sure. Some of the things that have happened there. Well, I I, I would like to get into more specifically. What's different now, and not I don't not the stories right now, but I mean next week. Obviously, the wharf's different than it was well, 50 years ago, day. 30, 20. Pick a, you know, pick That's a like decade. So, so let's talk about that next week. Okay. Okay. That's Thank okay. you very much. All right, Joe. Ciao.